Welcome to the review of Icarus Illumina E653 ebook reader. On the front panel of the little box we can see how the reader looks in three different colors. On the back side of the box there are some technical specifications. More detailed information is located on the side of the box. It looks as follows. 6-inch touchscreen, A-Ink Pearl HD with resolution 1024 by 758 pixels, integrated front illumination, Wi-Fi, Android version 4.2.2, 4 gigs of internal memory expandable to 32 gigs via micro SD card, battery with capacity of 1500 mAh, support formats such as EPUB, PDF, Mobi, Text, HTML, ZIP, RAR, JPG, BMP, TIFF, PNG, GIF and many many more. Customizable font types and size. You can install your own phones, adjust line spacing, margins, create bookmarks, rotate the screen or set rate of page refreshing. File explorer and dictionaries. Weights only 197 grams. Dimensions are 118 by 168 by 9 mm. Inside the box you will find user's manual, leaflet recommending to register the device, another leaflet with some basic information, USB micro USB cable. You can see the reader is compact, looks nice and is made from a soft touch plastic. Fingerprints are slightly visible, but their removal shouldn't be a problem. On the front panel we have 6-inch touch display, which is recessed to decrease the risk of scratching the screen. On the left and right sides of the screen there are buttons for page navigation. Forward, backward. Button to the tour, to the main menu and a button to refresh the page and turn on off backlight when pressed for a few seconds. At the bottom, from the left, we find micro SD card slot, micro USB input, reset hole, LED indicating charging of the device and the power button. After switching on the Icarus Illumina the main page appears and it gives you access to most recently read books, recently added books and shortcuts to books, applications, settings and web browser. After clicking on the books icon you have access to your documents divided into folders. You can sort them or search for the file. You have access to the edit menu and you can change the display settings. With the reader you get a few free ebooks in several languages. In the settings menu there are standard options present in any Android. When you click on the apps, a list of pre-installed applications to handle ebooks will display. You have access to the email client, dictionaries, notebook or RRS reader. This device do not have the Google Play Store, but this is not a problem because you can install new applications using the APK files or use good e-reader App Store application. The last icon gives you access to a web browser, which has standard Android features and works pretty well. In standard pre-installed application you have access to several options. Just click in the middle of the screen. Top icons give you access to the backlight, search, table of contents, bookmarks, notes and you can add an interesting page to bookmark. At the bottom of the page you can go to desired page, select the font, its size, change the line spacing and margins. You can select the screen orientation and display file information. While reading a book, you can select a single word or highlight a larger portion of text to be copied to the clipboard, add annotations or check it in dictionary. Unfortunately, it does not work very well. This application also supports pinch to zoom in out, so if you want to zoom in out, read text, you don't have to do it in options menu. However, if the options available in the standard applications are not enough, you can always install more advanced ones, offering more features, such as Aldico or Kobo. This is an interesting addition that gives the user the ability to customize the reader to their needs. The display is very good, the text is clear, refreshing the page or transition between the pages works smoothly, the backlight of the screen works great, 
it has many levels of adjustment and if needed you can turn it off. At the bottom of the screen you can see some small grey shadows which do not affect the comfort of reading because they are outside the reading area. Touch screen responsiveness is good but quick clicks are not always recorded when choosing an option in the menu so we recommend a little longer hold down. This problem does not occur when you change pages. In summary, the Icarus Illumina is a very nice ebook reader with interesting features thanks to Android. It works flawlessly. It is very well made, has a great display and backlight, and is available at an affordable price. Icarus Illumina is an interesting alternative to readers from larger producers. Thank you for watching, comment, like, and share!